Awesome. Have a good ride. Thank you. You know I'm tense when I've checked my shoe's tightness about 12 times now in the last minute. <laughs> I'm not going to be talking much today, guys, okay? <laughs> this is going to be all out, everything I got.
Pero...
so tight. I can't do the power, I just can't. I can't fucking breathe. I just can't breathe. Alright, this isn't the day. I need to back way off. I can't do it. I can't do it today, Brett. Sorry. I like. I feel like I'm actually in a heart attack right now. My chest is really tight. I can't just. I got nothing. Fuck. I, Back down.
Oh my god.
Well, I had a lot more in my legs to give, but my heart couldn't do it today. It's a good time. I'm happy with that. This is a good start. I'm going to definitely be doing this again sometime because I can go sub 34. That's for damn sure. And if I got, I missed two of the power ups too. So, I mean, if I got two power ups, that would have actually put me sub 34 if I had the lightweight before, but um, uh, where do we start? Well, let's start off and say it's 
that's a good time. I was 359 watts. Um, oddly enough, that's what my dad thought I would do. Damn it! Dad, I said if I do 359, you're gonna see a hole in the wall. Um, I'll try not to, uh, try not to do that, but I was thinking if I'm one watt shy of 360, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna lose my mind. But, um, <clears throat> I guess it depends on the circumstances of, of things, and so we'll start... I'll break this down. We'll start off and say, first of all, thank you everyone, everyone for tuning in. I think this is our, our most we've had on the stream, and so I appreciate all the support. And if you can hit that subscribe, uh, really would appreciate because there's going to be another attempt coming uh, soon. Um, so yeah, let's start and say three thirty-four nineteen is is pretty rapid. Um, that's fast. It's darn fast. So I hit my um, my C goal, which was PB. Or tie the PB was my C goal. B goal was beat the PB, and A goal was go under 34. So we didn't get the A goal, but we did get the B. We beat the PB by five or six seconds. Six seconds roughly. I actually. I thought I was going to get to the finish line faster, and I stopped pedaling maybe a second before the end, but, um, yeah, I'll start by saying, uh, the, uh, it's a fast time. Uh, I'm disappointed, to be honest. Uh, I just, said my legs had a lot in them. I will say this front tire was bugging me. It's a little deflated, but excuses, excuses, whatever. Um, so it kind of made going out of the saddle a little bit uncomfortable because I felt the bike bouncing. But anyways, that's just a flat out excuse. But um, my heart rate felt really, really high. Like very early in. I felt like really tightness in my chest. Um, I did taper like pretty hard into this. Decently hard. Um... And so maybe there's a chance, I don't know if this makes any sense, but um, because I've been training under such fatigue, I haven't been able to get my heart rate very high in training. And so maybe this was more like, uh, just because now that I'm fresh, my heart rate's going up pretty high. And I don't know, I wasn't used to it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, that's the highest my heart rate's sustained for a really, really long time. Like... That's the highest my heart rate's been since December. Uh, and I felt every inch of it. Um, so, um, I'll get to the questions in a second. Let me just, so I don't uh, ramble through. I'll just, yeah, uh, just to analyze the effort. The uh, Like I felt like extreme tightness in my chest. Um, probably like six minutes in seven minutes, eight minutes in, in that range, when I got to that flat turn, um, like I felt like extremely tight in my upper body and, and chest, and it felt like my breathing was shallow, and my heart rate felt way too high, and felt like I was going to vomit, um, when, quite frankly, the legs were like, this is absolutely a joke, like, this is not, um, could have been overheating, this fan's I only had the one fan, and the reason being, and I know that sounds really stupid when I have other fans in the house, but this is how I've been training, and I kind of didn't, like, just psychologically, I've done all my training sessions with just the one fan so far, and I thought about bringing the other one down, and then I was like, I've done them all with this, I don't want to change anything, like, I don't want to change things in the room, I don't want to put another thing, device in the room. Uh, I have like, you know, messing up with my signal, A and T and Bluetooth and what's, whatnot. This is how I've been training. Let's do it exactly how we've been training because we've been doing this power really, really easily in training. So I don't want to change anything. Um, which is obviously probably, in hindsight, stupid and I'm probably overheated. Um, but it was... Uh, yeah, it's disappointing. Like, it's a PB, but it's disappointing. Because uh, I did give up on it quite hard in the middle. 
and I just nothing. I felt like I couldn't do anything. I felt like I couldn't. I couldn't build myself to all out. It felt like I was just like I was just capped, like completely capped, and had to like work for every single second above 360. Like I would go out of the saddle to try to get the power back up, and I'd be out of the saddle for 15 to 20 seconds, and already I could feel my heart rate spiking, and I could feel my heart like just beating out of my chest. Uh, and then I had to go right back down, so I couldn't sustain any like above the goal power and I hit above the goal power 359 is two watts higher than the goal power at the same weight I weighed in right before this is 59 uh, and then I warmed up so I mean quite frankly after the warm up I was probably under that because um, I was sweating quite a bit in the warm up but um, any case um, yeah I, I gave up on it a little bit in the middle saying I'm gonna just hold 340 but even that felt hard I had to work for every inch today um, so I'm proud and I'm disappointed at the same time I'm proud that I didn't quit on it and I got a PB in the end I'm disappointed because I think sub 34 was in in the cards um, I think it's more overheating, Noah. I think the, I think it was just overheating. My, and it kind of makes sense actually, because we had our, we've had our two hottest days of the year, and they're not really hot, but, um, like it was 20 degrees yesterday, and it's, you know, that's like 30 degrees warmer than it's been, so there's a possibility that it's maybe a little bit warmer than normal in the basement, um, but, anyways, uh. Just to finish my initial thoughts, and then we'll think more on this, and I'll go through and answer all the all the comments, questions, and I appreciate all of them. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm proud of the fact that I didn't quit, and I, I I worked my ass off in the final minutes to grab that power, even though the power maybe didn't reflect it, like it didn't look like a straight block of red. Um, I had to work for every single inch of that today, and I just had no power out of the saddle. Um, oddly, like I was just, I would go out of the saddle. This is the low, the highest cadence I've been in a long time. Getting a significant chain rub with that, but, uh, because I was in like, <laughs> 28 or something. Or not 28, it would be 20, 25. I was in the 25 for a lot of that. Um, and that's not really how I ride normally. I normally, if you've seen my videos the past few months, you know, like Bologna, for example, I stayed out of the saddle for like seven minutes. Um, and so, it's just, it's not, this, this wasn't a typical, how I typically ride. It's just I couldn't get any power out of the saddle. Um, I had to stay in, and, and that was the only way I could keep my heart rate under control. Um, yeah, thank you, Henry. Uh, it's okay. You, um, it was, uh, there'll be another one for sure. Oh. Alright, I'm going to go through some of the comments here. Um, yeah, those are just my initial thoughts, so I'm, I'm, I'm proud and disappointed all at the same time. I, I feel like I had it. Like, I, 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 I had it in my sights, and I had... Oh, stop talking. I, I think I had 34, uh, sub 34, really well in, in my sights. If I got two darn power-ups, it would have been really nice. Um, but I missed them out. I don't know how that's possible. But, uh, um, yeah, that's exactly it. I'm... Oh, I'm a little emotional right now because I feel like I had, I had, and I don't know how many times you can go that deep. So I mean, even though I say I want to do that again, not right now I don't. So it's, I'm a little annoyed because it's like, this climb takes everything from you. If you, like to do above threshold like that. For that length of time, you're doing like a hundred and whatever five percent threshold for 
34 minutes. It takes like extreme like ability or like mental toughness, forget the physical, but the mental like to amp yourself up to do that. So even though I say I'm going to do this again, uh, it's intimidating to, to think about it right now. Maybe I'll feel different in an hour. I bet you I will, but that's a little disappointing because I, uh, I felt like I had it and I had the legs and I had the fitness going in to do it and to get to get very close to the all-time record. I think I, I think I had the fitness to do that for sure. Um, and I have the legs to do that. Um, oh, it's just a little... I'm ticked. I'm ticked off a little bit, but um, I'm also upset I didn't pump this damn tire. It was kind of annoying. I was feeling it right early. <laughs> Every time I went out of the saddle, I could feel the front end of the bike bouncing. It was kind of just annoyed. I feel like my power is sinking into the floor. Ah, oh, all right. Okay, get over it. Let's go through the questions. Oh. Thank you, John. And thank you, Riley. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate everyone watching. Yeah, I think we met match dead, so I think Ed could go harder than that, too. I think both of us can go sub-33, and I'll say that's another thing that I, I was a little not concerned about, but it's like it would have been nice if, if the last time I did this, the last time I did this climb, I did 34.25. I had a guy with me for the first until the big long turn over there. Um, whatever that is, turn 18 or something. And mentally it was really easy. I felt like I had a free 10 minutes. This time I was in the lead, not even halfway into the first turn. And I had nothing to stare at but my Garmin for the next 33 and a half minutes and that was just mentally a little challenging because it was it felt like just like a solo time trial um, there was nobody chasing me nobody in sight really um, so I mean if me and Ed could get together and do a showdown that'd be cool I think we could push each other to a new level maybe and both of us I think I think he's well capable of sub 34 as, as I think I definitely am if I had a power up, I would have done it. If I hit this darn power up, or if I had it, I would have hit it right there. Uh, yeah, uh, that was. Thank you, John, and, and thank you, Noah. Um, yeah, it was more just aerobically. I just felt like I couldn't, like I just I couldn't do anything. Like, and I know, like, some people are going to say, what do you mean you couldn't do anything? You went 34-19. So I'm prefacing and saying, yes, okay, like, that's great, but, um, and it's good. I under, I, yes, it's like 6 point, whatever, 6.1 watts per kilogram for 34 and a bit minutes, which is amazing. And it's going to give me some, like, it's going to get me the World Tour stamp of approval on, uh, Strava, which I always like seeing, um, but you saw the workouts, like, that workout last week, whatever it was, was it last week? I did 340 watts, and my average heart rate was 163. And I did 350 for 10, and that was for 20 minutes, and 350 for 10, and my average is 165. And then 365, 370, 380. And again, heart rate's never even touched 170s. Here I was... I was 184, 183 for like a really long time, really long. I don't know what we hit at the end, but um, I think it was, uh, it's the battle of the taper sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I don't like, like, I, I feel like I lose my rhythm. Maybe that's it, I don't know, but um, how's my nutrition looking like? 
good. I made weight, so I hit my goal. So uh, I cut my hair. <laughs> I took care of 0.4 pounds. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that was also to get some better cooling, but I weighed myself before and after I cut it and it was 0.4 pounds. <laughs> uh, but how's it looking? Last night was pretty simple. I just had some waffles, easy on the stomach. And I always weigh pretty light the next morning, and I know that from having done it many times. That exact dinner, I normally weigh in pretty light the next morning. Um, and so that's what I did last night, and then, I don't know, my nutrition on the ride here was abysmal. Um, I should have been drinking. I don't think I drank at all. That probably cost me. Uh, yeah, I mean, could, could be that too. Could be trying to get that extra, extra pound to make darn sure that I was at weight. And I mean, this isn't an official event, so I mean, it doesn't, I'm not even, it doesn't matter anyways, but, um, it's for my own, for my own transparency to myself, right? I want to be at weight. <laughs> You know, I'm on the only line to myself. This is enough an event. So I wanted to make sure that I was at weight uh, no matter what. And maybe trying to get that extra pound to make sure I had that extra pound. Because the worst thing in the world would have been waking up this morning and seeing, you know, 60.5 and saying, oh, shit, like now, okay, great. Now I gotta up my power by 5 watts to get the time. It's a big ask. So it could have been that. Trying to get that extra, extra pound. Didn't really have to do much to get it, but like, it was literally the one meal. Like before, is, as I said, it's a meal that I know that gets me down to the weight that I need to be at. And then, yeah. So I mean, it wasn't too much manipulation. So I'm not gonna say I was anemic, because it wasn't like I was fasting for four days or something. It was literally like. There's a change in one meal. One that I know is pretty light. Uh, and I think that's all the questions. Thank you, Lewis. I uh, use Training Peaks, Noah. Sorry, I don't understand, but I found something related. I don't know what you're talking about. Was it running? Hey Google, stop talking. That was odd. She's listening to our conversation, guys, so like keep our voices down. She's looking something up on Training Peaks. I tell you. That was... That was weird. Getting spied on. <laughs> Telling me. I don't know. That was that was absolutely bizarre. Did you hear me say anything about Google? No. Yeah. Stop listening to me. Something. I tell you. Um. Thank you, George. All good. It'll be, it'll be up on the channel in a little while. Uh, I'm gonna close this down, cool down, and just be alone with my thoughts for a while. <laughs> I, I don't mean to make it sound like that. It's, it's, 34:19 is a good time. It's a very good time. I'm proud that I didn't quit on the on the on the thing because I'm telling you, 10. I was wanting to quit 10 minutes into that. I'm not even joking. 10 minutes in, I was wanting to pull the plug and say, this isn't going to happen today. Um, and I fought for every square inch of ground in the final little bit. Um, I feel I feel actually a little shaky right now, so I probably am um, quite glycogen depleted right now. I think, like, let's just do the math here. Oh, boy, beauty. Okay, so it looks like we had 30, 
maybe. And let's go into this bottle. Yeah, so I think I just, I think I sabotaged myself nicely. I think we had, we're an hour and three minutes. I warmed up for 40 minutes. I ran for 15 minutes before just to shake out my nerves because I was, I was really nervous this morning. So I just wanted to like just do something beforehand. I didn't want to just sit around all day and just wait. Um, so I mean that's two hours of activity and okay yeah we're, we're down. And then breakfast was at 7.30 so we're definitely down. I do feel kind of shaky right now. That was me trying to get that darn power up. And that I don't think really helped. It spiked my heart rate pretty high. I'd say about here. About there is where I was about to call it a day. But then I thought to myself... I'm five foot seven, so uh, 170 centimeters. Uh, I think it was just the morning of nutrition. Uh, that cost me. I think we're a little, a little low right now, glycogen. Um, I think a lot of things cost me. I think only having one fan cost me, and then poor nutrition right before cost me. Um, maybe going a little bit too light on the dinner before. I don't know. There's a lot to dissect, but it was like I just wanted to make absolute sure that I made weight. Um, but anyways, live and learn. I'll do an extra. I won't worry about it. And then we'll do five watts more next time. And make up the difference. Um, yeah, so about here is where I was like, ah, we're done. I, I think we're done. Um, and then I thought, like, you're going to quit on this 10 minutes in, and your power is at 364 right now for 10 minutes. So you're going to quit on this? We're seven watts above the PB. So, like, give me a break. But the weird thing was today is I felt like I couldn't, and you can see it in the power. I just, I could not stay at a steady power. I, I said to myself, literally, in my head, I'm like, okay, you're at 364. You feel like absolute garbage right now in terms of aerobically, my heart feels like it's going to explode. My legs feel perfectly fine. My legs feel like they can do this till kingdom come. But I feel like I'm going to heart attack. I may, like, my chest is going to explode. So, back it down. Give me 350. That's like a 15-watt drop. Give me 350 watts and just hold it. But I just could not hold steady power at all. Like, I was, like, either at 330 or at 360. I just couldn't get that middle power at all today. Um, and, anyways... Oh, it's annoying. It was annoying effort. Um, really good. And like, here was like, you know, this is like what to take home from it. 189, oh my god. Um, that's, that's the highest heart rate I've seen in months. Um, especially on an effort like that. A long sustained effort. So like, this part was like, very good. The last five minutes was not nearly as high power... That's what's interesting about this. It's a PB, but I tell you, the last time when I did 34.25, my last five minutes was much higher power. I built it much more aggressively. There was little to no fade. Um, I built it much more aggressively. Um, what did we get down to here? 175. Yeah, so. Um, this was, I, I'm curious to see what the, the last five minutes is. Let's see what the peak five is. Pretty good. Uh, and then the last turn is just like, this is like what just is kind of like bugging me in my head right now. I'm just like, 
I was so close, and yet I just, I'm like, just give me everything you got in this final two turns. But I was still like, I, I can't go harder than this. My heart is going to explode. I cannot pedal harder than this. Like, it, like from an aerobic perspective, I was just like, I can't go any harder. I know I want to go harder. I want to hold 400 watts. And I know I can hold 400 watts for the last two turns here. I've done it before. So let's get it going. Like it's two turns. We're like two, three minutes away here. That's, that's nothing. But I was just like, I can't stay out of the saddle for longer than 20 seconds without feeling like my chest is going to explode. So what an interesting effort to dissect this is going to be. Um, any case. Uh... Thank you, everyone, and thank you. Um, I hate to be a downer. <laughs> it's, it's a good time. It's a good time, but it's uh, it's like, oh my God! I know I was, I had, I I had it. Like I could have done sub 34, and been one of the best times ever up this climb. I could have had, you know, beat Kirschmer's time. Like I think I had it, and if I got two lightweights. Right? And, and they're double, and here they're double power-ups, too. So, I mean, if I got two 30-second lightweights, holy smokes. Like, I'm telling you, that, that right there, forget the power, that right there is sub-34. And I know it's kind of a cheap way to get it. But nonetheless, it would have been nice to get a power-up, right? I only got an arrow power-up at the bottom. Um, but, anyways, it's hard, it's, I don't know. My mind's scrambled right now. I'm thinking about too many things. I'm probably not making any sense, and we're probably dragging on way too long. I'm just... Um, there's a lot going through my head right now, because I know I had that, and... and uh, Yeah, it's, it's intimidating. I'm not going to lie. It's intimidating right now to say to myself, ah, I'm just going to get it next week. It's such a hard effort. Like it, No matter what the power is, no matter how you feel, it's still going to be really hard. I was hoping... That that point where I started yelling, which I never even yelled today because honestly I felt so out of breath in my chest that I thought I can't physically yell right now. So I'm not even going to grunt because I feel like I can't, I don't have the power to do that right now. Um, so it's just intimidating because it's like, could I do it again next week? I don't know if I can get myself pumped up for next week, but... I'm definitely going to do it again. Um, I'm just going to have to do it a long enough way away from this one that I can kind of forget this one and get re-motivated. It's not the type of effort, so you guys know, it's not the type that I'm going to say right now, like, yeah, I'm going to hit this again in like four days. It's going to take me a long time to mentally forget about the pain here because, as I said, I was hoping that the pain would kick in about here where it did the last time. And it's where it's done the last several times. This time the pain kicked in here. And I thought, I'm done. I'm going to quit on this. I'm done. I'll get it tomorrow or another day. You know, it's not the day for it. We're not good. Like, this isn't, the heart rate's way too high. I'm at 184 beats a minute. That's the highest I think you've ever seen it on this channel in racing. That is, this entire build-up. That's the highest the heart rate's been. Um... That's what it felt like. It felt like I was like tight in my chest. It felt like I just wasn't getting any air. And like my heart like my heart rate felt like shallow. I don't know. Like right here it felt really shallow. Like um uh, but nonetheless it looks good. I'll take a picture of that. I don't know what else there's to say. I think I've said everything. I think I've said everything there is to say. And that is...
Alright. Enough moaning. Uh, next time, coming up next, I'll just talk about that for two seconds. Um, well, and you know what, I won't because, uh, yeah, I, I won't talk about that just yet. We're, we're uh, a little get, getting a little long here. Uh, if I could sum up in two words or two sentences, there's more, there's always more to give. Um, me being hard on myself right now, and I am, 34.19 is a wicked time. I'm being hard on myself because I look at the timeline and I saw the power and I saw the training going in. And I said, I can go sub 34. I know I can go sub 34. I think I could be one of the fastest times ever on this time, on this climb. I think I have the power to do so. I have the power to wait to do so. I have the engine to do so. And we got, you know, 15 minutes in with the power still at about 362. And I thought, I, 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 I'm going to take the record. I feel like absolute shit. And I feel like I'm going to heart attack right now. But if we can just bring it down to 355, and then we'll get it back at the end. We'll come back at the end and get it right back over 360 with a strong surge on the finish. We got the record. And so I'm being hard on myself because it was there. Um, but, and because I think the sign of a good athlete is someone who's never content. Um, and I'm not content with that. Uh, I'm not content with, I should be specific. I'm not content and I'm not happy about this. Not at all. I'm upset about that. Um, that cost me the record. Not getting lightweights also would have helped, but that's, that's luck of the draw kind of thing. Um, actually, it's also falling off pace. If I didn't fall off pace, I would have had the power up, so it's my own fault. Um, but the good news is, is that we got a PB, and that this part right here tells me that mentally you can do it because you felt horrible but you didn't quit you kind of did but then you started bargaining with yourself and you bargained with yourself so much to the point that you kind of got it back going not that long you almost quit on it again but then you kept bargaining and you came up with new strategies and you came up with new distractions and so I'm proud that I didn't quit on it. I'm proud that I got a PB. But I want more. Um, and I know I have more. And I think you guys see that too. Um, there's, there's more in the engine. You've seen the workouts leading into this. As I said, you've seen my heart rate at various powers leading into this. I don't think this was my best. I don't think this was near my best. I think this was far off it. Um, and so, we'll be back. We're going to forget. We're not going to forget completely because this is a good effort. And I don't want to forget that I did not quit even though every part of my body wanted to quit. Every part of me wanted to quit on that. But I didn't quit. And so we'll remember that going into the next time. That no matter how much it hurts, you will not quit on this. Um, and we'll be back. We'll be back for more. We'll be back next time. And I'm going to break the record. Uh, and today was a good kick. A uh, good kick in the pants. Uh, but we still did well. It wasn't a disaster. We still did well. We still got a PB. Um, but we will be back um, to get it. I've heard that a lot, too, from people who've had that. Um, I don't think I do. Um, any case. That's all for now. Um, and we'll see you when we see you, probably next Wednesday. Uh, yeah. The wheel's are already spinning in my head for what needs to change. Nutrition was probably not great today. 
and I will probably bring another fan or two down here. I was just so nervous. I'm uh, not nervous is the right word. I was kind of just hesitant because I was like, this is how I've trained. This is the exact setup I've trained in, and I haven't had a problem at this point yet at all. And I've done long efforts. Um, so I don't want to change anything. I'm like, just like from a superstitious kind of standpoint, I'm like, I'm very much the type of person who I'm like, my bottle was sitting there the last time, so I'm going to put it right there this time. That's where my bottle was sitting, and we're going to keep it right there. And so I'm very much like that, like I, I want, like my, like I, the other day we, we were doing some filming in the basement here uh, for another YouTube channel um, that's coming later. Um, and we moved this table up and then literally when people left, I was like making sure the table was like within a millimeter of the exact same spot that it was in. So I was trying to go on the indent on the floor to get it like exact. And I'm, that's the type of person I am. I'm like very much like I, I want it to be exactly the same as it's been. Um, and so I was like with fans. I'm like I, I don't want to change anything. Um, don't want it, even though even though it can maybe improve things. I don't want to change anything. Um, but anyways, I appreciate everyone watching. I don't know if anyone's still watching. I've been rambling for. An extremely long period of time. This is even a lot for me. Um, and so, yeah, I appreciate all the comments. And I will get over this. I'm a little, I'm a little emotional right now. I could, I, I felt like, I felt like crying at the end there from just sheer exhaustion, but also just because I, I felt like I, I, I gave it away. I felt like I gave it away today. Um, and I, I had it in my in my grasp. I had it, um, and just let it slip. But anyways, we will be back. You can bet that you saw it at the end there. I'm not the type of person who's going to quit on something. I never do. And we will finish what we started here, and I will break the all-time record on this one. So, thank you for watching, everyone. And I'll catch you on, uh, on Wednesday. Oh, that's wet. I don't want that on. That's too wet. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you later. This is a good... Good turnout, and I appreciate all of it. Oh.